given diet soda. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jazz and I am back with another video. I really missed you guys. Um, I miss doing my food reviews because you know I love food and I love reviewing things that are brand new. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe and let's get into the video. Now we all know Coca-Cola, not Coca-Cola, but soda in general is full of sugar artificial sugar which leads to diseases such as obesity type 2 diabetes and basically aka the hospital so we are trying not to go to the hospital because you know there's ways you could prevent getting those diseases by limiting your sugar intake or finding new swaps that can help you out now, if you can't cut out soda immediately, I mean, I didn't cut out soda immediately when I stopped drinking it. I think it's been like four or five years that I stopped drinking soda. And um, I lessened it. And then eventually I moved on from it on a hunt to find like the perfect alternative for the soda needs. Because, you know, drinking water is just not it. Like drinking water all the time, it gets kind of boring. It's like you need a little pizzazz, a little spice here and there. To taste to satisfy your taste buds now i have three alternatives today and it's close to the real deal so let's get into it now the first brand of the coca-cola swaps is olipop now olipop is actually pretty popular right now um i remember when i first discovered it not too many people were fond of it because it is on the healthier side like it doesn't exactly taste like the real deal but it has like some similarities to it but it is considered um, a healthy drink so it is a sparkling tonic which is basically sweet and seltzer water um it is a prebiotic drink you know for that gut health you know we gotta make sure our juices stimulating in the gut to Help clean everything out now, i do have a review on prebiotic sodas i did review a brand called health eye and um i will put the video somewhere in the description so you can check that out it has two grams of sugar nine gram of fiber and 35 calories and it is naturally enhanced with vanilla cinnamon and caramel so we are going to do a taste test and see which out of the three it's closest to the real thing mind you like they're all pretty close but you know maybe one of them just make a little fun one of them has to be like very close to the real thing there is caffeine in, in um all the drinks olipop has 50 mg of caffeine but that's not just natural caffeine because green tea naturally has caffeine in it so that's where the caffeine is from so just keep that in mind if you're trying to watch a um, caffeine intake you know maybe Maybe don't down in it, but like maybe like half a can or so. But 50 mg is not a lot. It's pretty much like standard, regular, around like the regular intake that every caffeine is supposed to be. Now the second brand is Poppy. And Poppy has five grams of sugar, two grams of fiber, and it's 25 cal per can. Now this one is apple cider vinegar based. So like the base is apple cider vinegar. So this is actually interesting to see. I actually never tried this flavor before. So this would be my first impressions. And I hope it meets and exceeds expectations too because I generally try this brand and it does have some pretty good flavors. And yeah, the caffeine is 32 mg. And this is also a prebiotic soda. So, you know, two for two. If you will say and the last brand is Zevia, which is a zero calorie sugar soda and is zero grams for everything and the caffeine is pretty high in this one well not pretty high but like almost kind of like a borderline with olipop which is 45 mg they actually have a caffeine free um virgin i never tried a caffeine free version so i'm not too sure about that but we're gonna see what it's given. 
So now for the taste test. Now first up is Olipop Vintage Cola. Cola. It smells really good. Cheers. Okay, so I will say it's not like your average soda. Like you could tell it's not soda. It is. It does taste close to what it actually is. I'm actually really thirsty, so. That's why I keep sipping. It said it was naturally enhanced with vanilla, cinnamon, and caramel. Now I do taste a hint of vanilla. That caramel's in there too. But you definitely taste that cinnamon. Excuse me. Now it's not bad at all. Why well, I say it tastes, tastes close to Coca Cola? Not really, but. Mind you, it is a healthy drink and it's actually pretty good for a cola alternative. I'm going to be rating all these in three categories. The first one will be um, like carbonation, like based on how the carbonation is. Second, on um, taste, like compared to actual um, Coca Cola. And, and the last category is smell. Carbonation, I would say it's not as carbonated, but it does have, you know, carbonation to back it up. I would give the carbonation of seven. It's there, but it's not like heavily there. You probably get a little burps here and there, but it's not. You're not gonna be heavy burping, if you would say so. So seven for carbonation and the taste. So the taste is an eight. Second one we have is poppy. I'm actually pretty excited to try this. Ooh. It's kind of just like a diet Coca Cola, if you would say. Like, the flavor is there, but then it's not. Like, I think it's like. It's like a balanced mixture of the base of the soda, which is the apple cider vinegar, but you don't taste the apple cider vinegar and the flavor itself. So I think the two is given a mixture of half and half and is given diet soda. It has a very, like a tart aftertaste tart and dark so I would say the fizz is about the same the smell taste smells a little weird it smells a little diety that's that's what it's given it smells like some type of syrup some sort of like brown for a little brown syrup like that's what the smell is given so I'm gonna give the smell a four the taste I'm gonna give it a five because the taste is is there, but it's kind of faint, but it's not faint, but it's not as bold, if you would say. Last one is Sepia. Say that. There's no smell. Am I bugging? Where's the smell? So there's no smell. And this one is clear, and other ones um, do have color in them, so... Cheers! Excuse me. So for the Zevia rating, um, carbonation is a 10. Not even a 10, a 100. Like, if you want to keep burping, like burping, burping, like slip, sip, eat your food, burp, 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 burp. 
definitely Zevia is probably your best source if you were looking for something heavy carbonated taste is there but not there but the carbonation has you wanted more definitely tastes like stevia too so for the carbonation 10 100 um smells zero i can't really rate the smell because there's really no smell and for the taste i will have to give it a eight like it's there but it's there but it's not but it's there if you get what i'm saying now for the overall ratings um like the closest thing to a soda out of three i will have to give it to Sevia. Zivia, Zivia, you are the winner. I will give you overall, Zivia, you're an eight. Like if you are looking for something carbonated, like heavily carbonated, and you know closest thing soda, which is carbonation and a bit of a taste, then I will go with Zivia. Zivia is your best choice. Now second, I would say Olipop. I would rate Olipop a nine. Because I feel like it's something like is there like their take? It's not actually like closest to the real thing, but keep in mind it is a prebiotic soda. So for like a healthy soda, I think they did a pretty good job. I think it tastes pretty good. So I would give Olipop a nine. So basically, if you want to try something new and you want that gut health extra, you know, oof here and there, make sure you're stimulating well, but still want that taste. Um, Olipop is definitely your best choice. And last but not least, I have to give it to Poppy. So basically, if you want something not as bold, but just like borderline, like borderline good, then I would say Poppy is your best choice. And Poppy, I'm going to give you a 7. Like, you're good though. You're good. Not bad at all. It's more of something if you want, you know, something light if you would say thing just to sip on if you just don't want to drink water it all depends on what you prefer and what you like in a soda and yeah well that's basically it so those are my three swaps let me know in the comments down below if you're a poppy ollie or zevia which one out of the three do you prefer if you had tried them let me know what's your thoughts on them and um Thanks for watching. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one.